know, right now we, I need to get better with my partner and, you know, like right now we're thinking of uh, going to, you know, go do some organic farming and, you know, give back to the land, so to speak, because there's mu nothing much I can really say, you know, I've already said it, I've already done it, I've demonstrated it, and no one can take that away from me. But it, no one can take away my actions and deeds away, and that's, that's what gives me strength, and that's priceless. And even though a lot of people, you know, they look at me and they, and they see me that I'm not, I don't have money, I'm not balling, you know, I'm still riding the bus. You know, I didn't sell out. And, you know, putting up with the ridicule of the people is a choice that I made. And, you know, it's a warrior thing, you know, to follow your heart and to follow great spirit. And as we go along, we're, we're every day, we're... We're evolving, and now, now it's uh, even like with uh, with eating meats and stuff. You know, it, it's uh, it's survival mode. You know, if you if you have to eat it, then you have no choice. If you like, for example, if you're an Eskimo, you live in the fucking igloos. Fuck, you have no other choice. But now we're in a position where we're evolving. We have we have better reason. You know what I mean? To to f to come into ourselves and be who we're supposed to be. Or if say that an animal comes or a scorpion and tries to sting you, like, are you gonna let it sting you or, or are you gonna off it? You know what I mean? So will the scorpion be better to the world than you? They say if you kill it, self-preservation. But you know, there's still a karma that has to be played. You know what I mean? Because once once you're once you're in your in your zone, you know, Mother Nature will respect you. And Right now, I'm trying to get back into that vibration. And because, you know, like Jack Bauer styles, you know what I mean? I went in, like, you know, he, he injected the heroin so he can do his mission. I injected the meats, I injected, or sort of speak, figuratively speaking, you know, ate the meat, drank the booze, and I had these entities tie into me to, to follow through with my mission in the 3D. But now, that I've kind of come into an end to this chapter, you know, now I gotta get back into myself, give back to myself, because, you know, if you can't give to yourself, you cannot give what you do not have. But again, this world and this house and my family that I have, this is my palace. This is my castle. I live the life of a prince. I am the prince region. You know what I'm saying? And 111 Regent Street, you know? It's already written, and I can't deny my truth, you know what I'm saying? You know, like I was even telling Justin earlier, like, I'm an artist. Like, for example, like, I am the master of lances, the master of cups, the master of stones, and the master of swords. You know, I know, it's in my heart, it's in my blood, it's in my soul. Like, for example, here, as an artist, I have a bite mark, which I interpret as the lance of Christ when he got pierced or even here the circular birthmark which is the birthmark of the Buddha you know I can say this anyone can say they're Cleopatra anyone can say they're fucking you know uh, Ramayan or, or fucking Ganesh or whatever but the thing is but the thing is, if you don't walk your talk, it means shit. It doesn't mean anything. And again, to my light workers out there, you know, just peep the game. You know, like, I've been down down your road. I'm not trying to stomp on your dreams. But you guys are headed towards a, a, a direction where you guys are going to get lost. And you're going to have to be forced to go into the darkness. And I'm trying to save you that step. And, you know, like I said earlier, take heed if you like. But this goes for everybody. And people who aren't even conscious, like, you know, I, I've been trying to reach them as well. And, you know, I have my way with them. And slowly but surely, the message will get out. And, you know, you know, I may get a lot of hate. And, but it's something that I chose. And, you know, it is what it is. Uh, shout out. I love everybody. I love, I love everyone's hate. Send me your hate. Because I'll take and I'll transmute that shit because I dance with the fucking serpent and I'm fucking, you know, I got my serpent energy here and I have my trident. I don't even need any shit. But I stumped that shit.
You know what I'm saying? And I'm an artist. You know? Serpent eyes, serpent eyes. What you know about the serpent eyes? Yeah, yes. <laughs> so, like, you know what I mean? Um, I guess in the next phase, you know, me and my, my partner, girlfriend, Shakti, Danny, like, we have to take care of ourselves and, you know, so we can give back some more. And, uh, you know, the organic farming, uh, giving back to the land, giving back to nature is where it's at. And, you know, uh, and she's also teaching me to eat better and influencing my parents. Going back to healing your parents and they stopped eating the rice, uh, potatoes, because that turns into sugar and a whole bunch of shit. And, you know, we're going trying to you know, eat organic. And my mom actually, uh, she, there's a new meat store that's opening up over here that my mom went into uh, so they can get them to introduce, I guess, uh, you know, vegan meats, you know, so they're, they're trying to adapt. So everyone that's out there, like, especially the natives, you know, we're, we're suffering with diabetes where people are going blind. You know, people have lots of hate, you know, the alcohol and all this other stuff and Everything has to be done and showed by example. Even I need the help. I don't know everything. You know, and my partner Danny is helping me out just like the natives need the help. Just like the world needs the help. And my Danny, she's so special to me and, and she's special, she'll be special to a lot of people and I see it within her. And she has a lot of love and again, you know, harnessing that goddess energy and bringing back Avalon. You know, shout out to Ma'at, Kemet, Lumeria, and all that jazz. <laughs> so I don't know what else is left to say. I think I've, I've already said it. Um, but just know, oh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Oprah Winfrey out there. I was, I was like reading, I was reading like, it's all about affiliation. It's like, you know, I, Oprah, I, I, I can see that you're trying and you're trying to do well. But like, you know, I opened up your book, your magazine, and I saw like, the, like the, it gets complexes. You know what I mean? Like the vanity, uh, also like those prescription pills and you know Botoxes and all this other crap correct me if I'm wrong and you know all these disclaimers of suicide and all this shit and you know even Dr. Raz you know Dr. Raz I saw in a video that he doesn't even his kids don't even get vaccinated so you know and I remember one time like especially in the spiritual community someone that you know preached love preached this and you know togetherness and all this other crap you know they told me that that they support the eugenics movement when they're preaching love and shit. Now I ain't gonna name out any names, but you know, keep the game, homies. Keep the game, light workers, and fucking anti up. You know, it's like what what's around you is not what you think. And I've been there. I touched the fire many times, but because I've been manipulated even before I had my awakening over and over and over and over again, that was my training for all this shit. You know. I am handsome, I am smart, I am a walking work of art. You know what I mean? And when it comes down to it, none of this shit means anything. None of it means shit. It's all within me. It's all me. It's all me. You know? It's all me. You know, this is my soccer jersey. This is my hat that my gramps gave to me before he passed away when I was 17. This is my grandmother's apron. This is my father's peace pipe. This is my fucking... My copper wand with fucking quartz crystals. It's all fucking me. So hate me if you want to hate me. But just know that I'm the realest motherfucker in this fucking game. <laughs> the realest of the real. And I know that I have to ante up my game and I have to get better and be an example. And I got my boy Justin here trying to do his thing, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, unite the brotherhoods. Everyone has, they're, they're all, everyone, there's so many divisions. But, all I can do is represent myself, represent my movement, the Justice Party crew, the return of the K-I-N-G, Knights in New Grace, Dropping Steady Zions, dot dot dot, one on one, dot dot dot, thirteen, dot dot dot, one on one, dot dot dot. Straight binary, saying things without saying things. And that's my gift. That's my 13th blessing. And, you know, that's all I got to say for now. And, you know, I've given so much. And, you know, who knows? You may not even see me for the next little bit because I got I to gotta get better with my, my, my girl, Danny.